Get Out is a psychological thriller following the story of young black photographer Chris going to visit his white girlfriend's family home in the country. However, the family, who at first to be friendly and welcoming, harbour a dark secret that will put Chris's life in imminent danger. Director Jordan Peele used a combination of mise-en-scene and sound design to display the shock horror. In the chosen hypnosis scene, there are many layers of sound to dissect. A reoccurring sound that is heard at first is the crickets in the background. It is subdued and can be described as the underscoring as it establishes the mood and setting, as crickets are associated with awkwardness. The Atmos is heard when Chris is told to sink. Wait, wait, wait. Sink. It is a deep yet empty windy noise that reflects the void Chris is in. Teddy Perkins, the dominant sound designer for Get Out, worked very closely alongside Peel for The Sunken Place to orchestrate how they wanted it to be represented. Perkins asked Peel how he wanted it to feel. Well, what does it sound like when you put your head under water in the bathtub and someone's holding you down? What does that feel like? From this, they created dozens of layers of sound and took out only a couple that brought Peel's vision to life. This is conventional within sound design in film, experimenting with hundreds of special sound effects to execute the desired sound. Orchestral violins and drums are used as he falls deeper. Striking a sudden presence of dramatics and fear that resonates with the audience. The mother speaks to him when he is in the abyss. Her voice is muffled to display the void. Now you're in the sunken place. This has been executed after the equalisation of the audio clip and eliminating the treble and decreasing the mids. There is an omnipresent noise used throughout the scene of the mother repeatedly stirring the teacup with a silver spoon. There is a deep historical context as to why this was used, yet the stirring sound is associated with an evil doing that allows the audience to feel dramatic fallacy. The teacup was recorded on set. There was no use of foley, which is unusual for recording specific sounds like this in film. Another sound that is heard in this scene is the static fuzzing that is transdiegetic, used within the flashback of younger Chris on his bed watching television. This distorts time and transitions the scenes with sound bridging to create a smooth crossovers. The way all these elements can be heard on screen at the same time is the use of different frequencies. The non-diegetic static sounds and sun can place are low. The dialogue is medium and the teacup sound is high as it is subtle so needs to be enhanced in comparison to the other components. Throughout the film, there are many components that allow the film to feel like a thriller. Perkins stated that when it comes to horror, quietness is something that holds a high significance, yet it's more difficult to execute as there's nothing to hide behind. For example, the sudden plucking of strings upon the appearance of someone unexpected, such as the maid Georgina. (sighs) The silence before the jump scare, which makes the amplification of the vociferous noise much more intense. This is a form of synchesis use of sound, the mental fusion between something one sees and something one hears. We associate Georgina with this noise. Another attribute that is useful to analyse is the soundtrack. The first song used in the opening sequence is Run Rabbit Run by Flanagan and Allen. This comedic duo created this song after the outbreak of the Second World War. The British associated their race with strength and resilience, while the Germans were monsters, a collective evil. And regardless of whether or not the British were right in their narrative, it does not change the fact that they use race for political gain, as Get Out exposes in today's politics. This song has not only been used as a foreboding metaphor for the plot, but also for the eerie feeling the 1939 song has to offer. There is a score in Get Out. Composer Michael Abels composed Sikaliza Kwa Wahenga, which is a piece of gospel horror. The main title is a warning in Swahili from the ghosts of enslaved imploring the lead character Chris, listen to the ancestors and save yourself. Wanting to include the political and cultural context behind the movie's message, he incorporated this feeling of movement with the use of African American voices featuring sharp harps, unusual percussion and orchestra. Most scores are written within the context of the film's plot to fit both the narrative and genre. Abels made sure to read the script and make sure he connected with it before composing this piece. The song cuts to Redbone by Childish Gambino as the opening sequence starts to roll, setting off the tone for the film as it foreshadows the antagonist to stay awake. 
overall, Get Out has many attributes and sound design that allow the film to display the genre and narrative. From the use of the score, soundtrack, and the layers of contrasting sounds within the hypnosis scene, they all have been perfected to create the desired feel Peel wanted for the film.